How do you draw a taco stand? Mm, I don't know, show me. Okay, Mr. Tapatio, come on. Try and cover multiple subjects throughout the week. Helps you to master drawing versus mastering a subject matter. I'd, I'd rather you be really good at drawing, able to draw anything, versus I only draw horses. See, we want to expand that. So the way I've set up the daily draw is to try and really emphasize that idea. How important, important for your success that you draw just a little bit every day. If, if a person was gonna have a taco stand and they were going to do it in their camper, what would that look like? Okay, so let's just say that this is, this is our street level. Really quickly, let's just, let's just kind of uh, gesture what we're kind of thinking here. So I'm just thinking this uh, sign up here and my camper down below, okay? So there is a quick gesture of what I'm looking at. Let's go ahead and use a perspective grid to try and um, get that. So in this case, I'm going to make the corner of my uh, camper right there. And all I want to do right now is to draw a cube. Okay, so there, there is my, there is my cube. So let's go ahead and quickly put a perspective grid on this. And we're going to take that point and we're going to find the center. We're going to take this and find the center. So there's and we're going to draw this lightly, okay? Let's find the center here. Great. And then let's just do that one more time. Find the center. Hey, it's Kurt. How are you doing? Hey, I want to, sorry to interrupt the video, but I wanted to show very clearly how to draw a perspective grid. You know, I use perspective grids in order to draw things in perspective without knowing where the vanishing points are. It's, it's a very helpful tool. So let's say, let's say you were in a situation where you had a facade of a house. And we'll just do something like this. This is our facade of our house and it's going back in perspective. I, I don't know where the vanishing points are. But I don't need to know. I could draw a perspective grid in order to draw the door and a couple windows. So let's call this line A and this one B. If I go to A and divide A directly in half, okay, it's gonna it's gonna be right there. If I come over to B and divide B directly in half, it's gonna be right there. And all I have to do is connect those two dots. Okay, let's let's add some more. So here's A, let's go to halfway point right there. Let's come over here and go to halfway point just like that. And let's connect the dots. Let's come down here and go halfway point. Come over here, halfway point, and let's connect the dots. 
So you could see that I could keep like dividing these in halves if I need those extra guides to help. But I think we have enough right now to draw our window and door. So let's go ahead and draw our door here. And I'm gonna come up here like this. And now with, with this line and this line, I could, I could estimate about the top of the door there. You see, I'm using the grid to get this angle accurate. Let's add some tone to that. Okay, let's add some windows now. Let's come over here maybe, and we're gonna add a straight there, add a straight here, and let's let's use our grid to get trying to guesstimate how that angle is gonna be, and come up here and we can estimate how that window the top of that window is. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and, and put a cross section here and a maybe a cross section there and that's gonna go in perspective. Now let's come over here and do the same thing. Let's add a vertical and a vertical. Okay, using, using this as a guide, all right? Put that in perspective, using this as a guide to put that in perspective so see we've we've now drawn the facade of this house all in perspective without even knowing where the vanishing point is and that that is the upside of using a perspective grid okay let's go ahead and get back to uh, the video now all right and find the center there find the center there and find the center. Okay, so this side of my camper, we'll call this A. A is much bigger than B, you see that? So let's do the opposite with our side up here. So view, and this is also going to kind of go in that same uh, direction to the, uh, to the vanishing point there. The thickness, let's just get the thickness of our side. So we're gonna do something like this. Okay. Okay. So there, there is the rough sign of our uh, taco stand. Let's also add a perspective grid to this. This will help a little bit. So I'm going to go from halfway there. Okay. Great. And I'm going to go halfway there. Excellent. Okay, this is coming this way. This is coming this way here. This is gonna be the bottom of the sign. All right, so here we are with our, with some rough uh, construction. We did gesture, and now we are ready to start putting in some detail, okay? So uh, I'm gonna curve around I could use my reference as getting information from that I kind of like. You see that? All right, let's, in this case, let's just have a window here. This is the window where they would order their tacos from. And then I'm going to put a, a circular window right there. And then over here, we'll put a window over there. I'm going to uh, create my sign going up. And then the sign is going to be behind. And let's just, instead of making this thing square, let's make this like a giant taco up here, huh? So this, this, this bottom part is going back in perspective. And this all comes from getting that grid in place, all right? Okay, let's get our type in here now. And we're just going to use T-A-C-O. So T-A... All right, there's our 
taco signage. And this is going to be called Kurt's Tacos. <laughs> I don't... Kurt is, does not make a very, very good Spanish name. It should be Francisco or something like that. I think, I think Kurt's German, so maybe this should have been Kurt Sausages. <laughs> Kurt's Sausages and Beer. <laughs> All right, so let's... Let's just add some fun elements to our sign here. And then we're going to add some lights. See, now I'm, now I'm starting to have some fun here. Oh, Kurt's Taco. Look at that. I better add an S. Okay, so now we've got our, our little bit of signage going there. Here, let's go ahead. I'm going to add an awning. So now... This is going back in this perspective, but our awning is going to come out. So it's one, it's going to want to come in this direction. So I'm just going to put a long guideline here. See? And then this right here, this is also going to come back in this in this way. And we want to make sure it's that's going in that direction as well. So okay. Now I can draw my awning because I've got the right perspective. The front of it is going to go in this direction. It's going to go to this vanishing point. And then we'll add some scallops and maybe a, uh, a post, right? And then we're going to add like a little window here. Great, and then look at this over here on this side. Now we have uh, we have these uh, propane tanks, and I'm looking up at them, so I want to add a curve there, and we'll we'll give them two propane tanks, and then maybe maybe over here. Now this is going to go back in space, go back into the vanishing point. This is going to be in the back of the store, and maybe here is uh, some condiments with some napkins or something, huh? You could even you could even add a little box here if you wanted to. Let's see, how would we draw a box? So there's my corner. There's that. That's coming back, and this is going to go back in that direction there. Okay, so there's a. There's a box there for you. And on this box, we'll put some items. What else can we have here? Okay, so look at that. Let's look to our reference and add some fun little details that's in our reference, like little lights. Look at that. And maybe uh, they have this stripe maybe the stripe goes like that huh and i'm going to add some blinds all right add some tone here maybe and let's let's get this thing to turn the corner so let's just say we're going to add tone underneath our awning there it's going to be a little bit dark in here, I think, right? A little dark from that shading there. And let's put the front end here in tone. This will help turn the corner. And this, this guy's also going to have to be in tone. And then I'm going to uh, put a shadowy figure. There I am, ready to sell my famous tacos and let's add a little detail even to this awning let's say this awning is striped maybe uh maybe over here they have a uh, 
a, t a uh, tabletop, right? Where people see at this at this taco stand, people there's no tables, so you have to stand up and eat your tacos. All right, what else? Uh, I'm going to just darken in just a little bit more over here. And I'm going to leave my, uh, my propane tanks a little bit lighter. That will create some nice contrast. Let's put some clouds in the back here because this is one wonderful, one awesome looking day. So I'm, I'm going to be looking up at these clouds. All right? There's another cloud right there. Okay. Put this little little tone underneath here maybe, right? Tone underneath there. And there we have it. Kurt's Taco Stand. Truly a fun little drawing you could do. Uh, if you want to, you know, it could be anything. It could be uh, hamburger places. It could be, uh, <laughs> it could be any kind of stand. It could be a flower stand if you wanted to. But you get the idea. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Bye bye. A dad who draws.